Alright guys, welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Dino Crisis, I'm Nebexan. How's it going guys? Trenty here again. Alright, let's uh, get inside that foundation. Let's get to the save point, let's get some more story done, and let's not be pooping pants. Alright, who put the dinosaurs in the game? I want to know who did it. I did not expect dinosaurs in this game. Actually, you know what we could do? Hmm. We could have the credits roll. Like, after we get the end of the game. Like, if we wait till we beat it. To put, us, put all this up over. We can get to the credits. Then, when you say that, I can just roll the credits really fast. <laughs> like, who's responsible for this? <laughs> anyway, so Aaron just went up a ventilation shaft. And, as a child, I always thought there was something up here, so I kind of hesitated every time. Well, I ain't. My throat's dry. Alright, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go down here. Let's see what we can find. Do you want something to drink? Uh, I'll take Dark Pepper. What about you, audience? Do you want something to drink? Well, you can comment, and maybe we'll send you something. We yeah. probably won't, though. <clears throat> I mean, if All we... Right, right there, I'm gonna point my gun at the save room, but we're gonna get some story done first before I save anything, right? Correct. Leave some 9mm parabelium bullets. That is the uh, general ammunition for my pistol that I have right here. This is blocked off. I'll unlock that, in, I don't know, sometime later in the game. Ugh, not enough bugs. Those will come in handy. Those are like, um, your item boxes. If you find an item box of the same color, you can access things that you've put or taken out of there. You know, it's pretty good. <clears throat> so here's our control room. That's where Rick told me to go. Oh, speak right up, there he is right now. Amateur stuff, huh? Gross. Nah, flamingos. <laughs> Alright guys, our first priority? Completing the mission. And then changing my diaper, because that's full as hell. <laughs> yeah, complete the mission and change diaper. Got it. It's on my to-do list. Damn it, guys. Look at our hips. Hey, that, 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 that's. There it goes again. Wait, it skipped? Just once. So that's just your disc. Exactly. They must have that aerial wire to a different... That's funny. If you look at the monitor, you can't see it switching. <laughs> This will get a static screen. No. I guess they are static screens, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, static isn't that moving. Yeah. I can tell the actual static, I'm not that stupid. Listen, that chair is squeaking. Alright, so basically, I wasn't paying attention what the fuck is going on, so I just know where to go. <laughs> There goes the door. Uh, it seems like it'd be like... <laughs> Why do I remember there being a dinosaur in this hallway? I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. It seems different. I don't know, like... Resident Evil just kind of has you going aimlessly around, but it seems like you're doing sort of missions in this game. I don't know. Well, because it gives you the choice, remember? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, this is supposed to be the save... What the hell's blood doing in the save room? This is no save room! Well, it just wasn't as perfectly executed as the last time, so you were like, yeah, this is not a save room, yeah, <laughs> does no. it? But hey, it was a good attempt. It was good. <clears throat> he has been gouged with the torso. torso. Yeah, just a scratch. No, dude, I think he just spilled a lot of spaghetti. Spaghetti. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. <laughs> Regina made plenty of spaghetti, it's alright. Yeah, Regina made dinosaur spaghetti. <laughs> Jesus. She lived to tell a fucking tale. You already had the shotgun, Aaron. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> See how Aaron is playing on easy mode. He starts out with the grenade launcher and the shotgun. They don't have any ammo, you have to still find that yourself. But you start with them in your inventory. Actually. No, I got him. Never mind, I guess you start <laughs> I with the ammo. I have to equip him. Make myself look like an asshole. And now the computer's on by a switch on the other side of the room. Please inform the new employee assigned to this department about the DDK system as follows. The digital disk key, or DDK, is a system that secures our most important areas with an advanced locking device. 
To release the locks protected by the DDK, prepare and set the following two data disks at the locking device near the door. <clears throat> DDK code disk X. DDK input disk X. Thank you. The type of DD no, no, but <laughs> the type of the DDK you need is indicated on the door. A. B. ETC. If the DDK type you use does not match, you cannot release the lock. Before operating the system, make sure that your DDK type machine matches the door <laughs> you wish to unlock. Aaron, stop reading. You're making yourself look like an asshole. <clears throat> and we know our alphabet. A, B, E, T, C. Yep. <laughs> Close. All right, so let's go out in this bloody door. We'll save our game. Oh, I love blood. It makes me feel like I should save. Now, I'm fairly certain there's a Velociraptor in this hallway. Oh, God. It's legitimately standing next to me. Already? That was quick. Thanks. There's some bloody monkey paw prints on the door back there. There are, man. So let's, uh, push the switch. Come here, come get me. Do it. Ah! <laughs> Bitch. That was completely worth it, and you need to do it. Or else you lose the... You just... You get a game over, dude. Alright, here's the main entrance of this facility. Which kind of, in a strange way, recollects the Resident Evil with the staircase there. And yeah, the, it does. The two it side does, doors. Does. I, yep, there it is. That's cool. I never noticed that before. Just like, uh... Shit, what we're talking about. Like how Dead Rising 2 had that Resident Evil 1 reference in it. Which one? Dead Rising 2, uh, when the zombie turns his head in the beginning of the game. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Alright, here's that. a DDK door. I can't do shit with that because I only have one. Yeah, he doesn't have the, the, the other X. And up these stairs is a bunch of Velociraptors and stuff I can't get to yet. Can I go through that other door? I don't know. We'll find out, guys. We can. We'll find We're out. We're now going to the, the Aphis hallway. I'm talking like I'm Nam and Jane from Heavy Rain. All O's are pronounced A-E. <laughs> you're talking like you're from Baston. Big Ten Bucky Yes 33. Buckeyes. Screw you. It's Frankie Gargano. What? Inventory full. I don't need a recovery yet. Well, sometimes when you're full, my one of my favorite features of the game is the mix feature. Basically, if you want, like, a poison dart, you take an anade, and you would take, like, another aid, or possibly a hemostat, which stops bleeding, and you'd mix it together. Like, I'll show you right now. Mix with, this, uh, with a hemostat. Fuck. Mix it. You would get... Well, shit. <laughs> Let me see if I can find another better example. Like that. If you mixed these two, you would get something better. But in some cases, you get, like, a poison dart or something. So let's mix something together. <laughs> Leave to go back in. And now we got a complete full health thing. What does the recovery aid demon do? <laughs> well, we'll go, we'll find out. I guess it didn't say. It's just for mixing, I guess. I guess so. It's like alchemy. No. Alright, so let's go back to that hallway where I shocked the Velociraptor because there's a door at the end where there's some pretty important information. The management at this hallway. This is gonna be pretty risky though, guys. I'll tell you that. I'm kinda scared. Gotta get him wise out. Oh, come that, on. That's risky business. It's not misery business, it's risky business. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Man, there's some pretty inappropriate pictures back there. I cannot see that. Oh, there are. That's an asshole or something. That's creepy. I think it's like period blood. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to equip the shotgun because I got a strange feeling that thing's going to come through the goddamn door after me. Foreshadowing. Well, it's... There it is. Fuck you, my friend. I am going to bring this bitch down. You know what? You'd figure seems how they're so prehistoric that they just die. But they don't. I'll tell you, my adrenaline level just kicked in about 
90 times. So. Oh, look, like, like the time when we were playing Resident Evil 2 together, and I walked out the door, and I opened up, like, I did the whole cutscene, and then the two zombies started walking at me, and I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, my fuck! <laughs> no, stop it. Computer. Okay, that's what we're doing right now. Right now, all the side LP for Dino Crisis. Let's play, let's turn off the screensaver of this goddamn thing. Alright, so I need to pick up this dart because it actually comes in handy later. So let's mix that and a hemostat. Has the ability to soften the pain temporarily. I don't know what the hell that means, but you know, we'll be okay. It's like pain pills and left for dead. Pills here. Pills here! <laughs> Pretty goddamn dead dinosaur if you ask me. Let's continue forth. I think I'm missing something from that room that the fucking raptor broke down. Oh god. Where did the body go? <laughs> that doesn't convince me that it's dead, it just convinces me that he went home. He just kinda quit. I wanna see if there's a piece of paper in here that told me where to go. <laughs> or that there was... Oh, there it is. Journal. I'll read it. Sure. Before tonight's experiment, the Chief and Dr. Kirk will be having a meeting at the second floor lounge room from 1 o'clock p.m. <clears throat> to God knows when. Those who are scheduled to guard should keep uh, a <laughs> predominant eye on the area in front of the Chief's room and the surrounding vicinity. Before taking positions, be sure to resupply your ammunition in the custody, custody room. God damn it, I cannot read today. The weapon storage in the custody room will be opened with the combination 0426. Also, we have received information that spies have been sneaking through the facility recently. If anything happens, you may have to enter the rooms of the chief and the professor in order to ensure their safety. You will find the disk that contains the information. You will need to access the rooms at the top of the locker. That's all for now. 0426. I wonder if that's the one in the save room. Otherwise, it's the one upstairs. No more rat down here. I fucking blew his ass away. This music makes me feel calm, makes me feel safe. Dead body. Yeah, like I said, Capcom just has such great they do such great music job. That one's like Yep, that was it. We don't, no one listens to music for this game. I love the music for this game. They used to listen to music for any type of game. Will I take the resuscitation? God damn yes I will. Alright, now that we got that stuff, we should move on upstairs because that's gonna be important. Show we be we what? And it's always important to save often in Capcom because you never know when you're gonna get your ass slammed against the wall, raped, and killed. <laughs> Jeez. That's fine. Well, it's happened to me before, so. Well, actually, we have two minutes God left. damn it. Alright, well, we'll just cut it off here then. Well, next time I'll be going upstairs, we'll possibly get some T-Rex action in, we'll be killing some raptors, probably not. Um, we'll be seeing a lot of blood, there'll be lots of good times for everyone. Uh, thank you for watching, if you're watching, uh, if you're not watching, you should probably be watching. Um, until next time, this is Novakistan. I'm trying to. Have a good day. See you guys.